top two go head-to-head in the Barclays Under-18 Premier League on Saturday morning as Southampton travel north to face Blackburn Rovers. Two days before the under-21s face Rovers in their cup final, anti Limbrick's side play against the under-18s for the very first time this season. A new experience that his side is very much looking forward to. Yeah, of course, yeah, it will be an overnight stay, so a different stage in their development working uh, on those. We've done a lot before anyway during this season and last season, so it won't be anything new for the players, but sometimes a good experience to have to travel up and, and, and stay the night before and, and play at a new, a new ground where most of the boys might not have played before. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And if you, if you won, of course, it would be three wins on the trot, which would be a fantastic achievement, especially given that the, the season didn't really end as, as you'd have liked it to. Yeah, I mean, at this stage of the season, you're looking to give the younger players opportunities as well. A lot of the under-16s will come in again and a couple might start uh, on the weekend. You've obviously got a big game for the under-21s, which is big for the club on Monday with the with the cup final against Blackburn. So a few of the 18s will get their opportunities in that game. So it's good that these these younger players get the opportunities to play up and in the 18s or in the 21s. So, yeah, it, it, it will be good. We're looking forward to it. And you mentioned the 21s cup final. There, there will be a, a few under-18s, I'd imagine, that, that could be involved that day. It's a fantastic experience to them to play in a cup final. Yeah, it is. It's a big game. Make no mistake about that. It'd be great to win something for the players. Um, be good for the ones who have, some of the 18s who have played in the 21s regularly, like you Will Woods, Josh DeBeo, Josh Sims, for those ones, Marnie Little as well, who, who unfortunately is injured. But it'd be a great opportunity for them to go in and, and play in that big game, especially over two legs as well, which is something which is quite interesting for them to work out tactically. So, yeah, it'd be good, really good opportunity for those 18s and, and we wish them the best. Oh, it's a great experience being in, being in around the 21s because I'm in and around the, um, the likes of Ryan Seeger, Sam Gallagher, who have been involved in the first team and have first team knowledge. And they always help me out when I go up there. So it's, it's a great experience being up with the 21s. Are you able to learn a lot from those sort of players that play in a similar sort of position to you? Definitely, definitely, because obviously Ryan Seager's top goal scorer this season. So I'm just watching him, his movement, how he finishes, his composure in front of the goal is just something I want to try and add to my game as well. So two consecutive wins have seen Saints move up to second, a point below Saturday's opponents. After lacking goals towards the end of the regular season, Saints have now found their feet. One man on the score sheet last time out was Olafella Olamola, who says he's looking to add more goals to his game before the season's end. Yeah, definitely. That's one thing I'm trying to improve on, is add more goals and more assists to my game in order to get myself to the next level and try and kick on and even make an appearance for the under-21s. It's been a while since you had an away game. The last game was Fulham. You've, you've won the last two games since then. Is it a case of going into this game full of confidence? Definitely. We go into all games full of confidence thinking that we can win. That's, that's how you've got to go into games. Because if you don't, then you've already lost. So, yeah, we definitely think we can win on Saturday. It's shaping up to be quite a big game because Blackburn are at the top of the table now. You can overtake them if you win. That must be a, a good incentive for everybody to have. Yeah, it definitely is. We want to win our little league that we're in and we want to try and win every game that we can possible. So we're going to go over to Blackburn and try our best to win the game. Played a lot of the northern teams so far, which has been good to get a different experience and play different teams. But I think it's, yeah, we, we've won two and, and lost one and, and Blackburn are unbeaten so far. So make no mistake, it'll be a tough game this weekend and a real physical one from what we've watched them. They're quite a competitive side and and um, very high tempo and look to press quite high up the pitch. So I think we'll have to make sure that we compete physically first and foremost and match up with them in that area, that all over the pitch, but in that area in particular, and hopefully our quality can come through.